in the early days of automation, what they would do is uh, there would be maybe five, six engineers at a console. And what the, as they were mixing down to, to two-track tape, which was the final step in the process, they would maybe want to, maybe they wanted that guitar to kind of fade out as the, you know, as the recording is happening. So what they would do is, and you know, there's a lot of these types of things. Maybe they wanted to turn effect on or off during the time it was bouncing down to two-track tape, or you know, they wanted these things to happen in real time. So as they were bouncing down, what they would do is they would have five or six engineers with their fingers on little teeny knobs, and then they would everybody would press play, and then they would do the, the they would do the effect that they were trying to get in real time by moving knobs and moving things around, and then they would get these these cool, cool kind of created effects that way. So automation is kind of the future of that. What that allows us to do, and we've had this capability even with analog consoles. Uh, analog uh, you know, automation is basically motorized faders that you can teach to move a certain way. Within Pro Tools, this process is even easier. Um, you, you plot things on a chart, on a graph, and basically you're able to do things like this in real time. Our staple is one-on-one -on -one in an actual studio. So whereas you'd be theorizing in a classroom, what you're doing is you're working with an artist or producer who's worked with bands that you know who's worked with hip hop artists that you absolutely love, who's worked with your favorite female vocalist, who's worked with tons of, of professionals in the industry. This is what makes this thing special. This is what makes this different from anything else.